would I say? It's about my dad's cooking. And uh, I guess in, in my dad was, uh, um, I, uh, you know, a professional gambler, I guess you might say, although really he was a card shark. What that actually meant is that he was out um, six nights a week in the East End playing cards. Um, and then he would sleep off cards, poker, dice, whatever, in the morning. But he was also like a kind of house husband. He did all the cooking, while my mum had a much more kind of orthodox occupation. She was a teacher. So uh, my dad had this quite, yeah, kind of unorthodox life, but he was a fantastic cook. And he used to cook uh, Chinese and Jamaican food. Uh, he was um, half black Jamaican and half Chinese. He grew up in Jamaica with his Chinese father. Um, and his Chinese father taught him how to cook. And in particular, my dad used to make um, all kinds of uh, crazy stuff, but he used to love to make these Chinese sausages. So if anyone knows those long red sausages, the spicy Chinese sausages. And in Jamaica, you would hang them out in the sun to dry, but in Ilford, Essex, my dad would hang them on our washing line. <laughs> Um, so uh, in this poem, I go back. It's quite weird, really, to kind of like imagine your sort of parents' erotic life. But I guess that's what the poem sort of does. Uh, but it also features uh, it features the sausages, my mum and dad, the, the he and she, but also my racist nan, my uh, mum's mum, who um, really, you know, didn't like my dad very much. But it always makes me laugh, actually, that my nan moved out to Essex to escape the bleeding immigrants. But the immigrants were like really hot on her heels to Ilford, and then she ended up living like she lived on the ground floor and then we lived upstairs so like my parents sort of parading their miscegenation above my nan's head um, always sort of pleases me <laughs> sausages they hang from the washing line between the tea towels and bleach sheets he has pegged them in neat clusters dark fingers of blood and gristle with twisted ends and oily skins they flame against the trees she smells them from the back door, ginger, clove and fennel. The house is quiet. He is hiding from her. Her mother told her not to marry a foreigner. He always wanted to be different, she hissed. Now this, he's black and old enough to be your father. The sausages are Chinese dragon red, the red of a chili or a shamed face. They gather fire, drawing on her line. This is Ilford Essex, 1965. The neighbours eat mince and cabbage and talk about her. She asked him not to do it, but they taste like home to him and he is like good food to her. Tonight, they will eat sausages together and she will lick the oil and spice from his hands.